Hello and welcome to my video for the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire special demo version. Let's get right into things, guys. I have no idea what this demo entails or how long it is. I don't know if it's five minutes or two hours, but whatever the case may be, I'm going to be doing all of it in this one video here. All right, let's get started. So play Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. So here we're just picking the language. I'll go with English, of course. And let's begin the game. Ooh, fancy. So I've got a few different screens set up here that we can swap between throughout this video. Oh, one second. Okay, I think we're good now. You might have saw a couple of white lines there. I just made a new layout for my 3DS thing here and kind of misspaced a couple things, but it's good now. So here we go, the special demo version. Very nice music. Let's get started. Ah, I guess we're going to start off with this screen here. Oh, we're just flying around. Man, I always mix up the names. I'm not sure if that's Latias or Latios. I think it's Latias, though. Do I get to fly? Probably not. They're just going to tease me and not let me actually fly around. What jorks. We've made it. Thank you. Oh, Latias. I got it right, guys. I'm not a Pokemon noob. Hyan! So it looks like we're starting off as, as uh, the guy here. I think his name is Brandon. This is Moss Deep City. It is the town where scientists work day and night on the research, aiming to reach the great expanse of space. Hmm. Kind of got like a little hotel lobby kind of vibe to this. This music here. I received a message from a professor I know asking him if we could help come and help him. It seems that some rather bad people have been trying to steal his research results for themselves. We should hurry to the space center at once. Come with me, Orlando. Well, I guess my name is Orlando, not Brandon or Brendan or anything like that. Orlando Bloom, maybe? I am Legolas! This is the space center. The professor should be... Huh? Uh-oh. Grr, potential obstacle spotted. Very, very serious of you. So here are the Team Magma members. How dare you call me a child? I am 10 years old. That is nearly adulthood in the Pokemon world. Hmm. And we're just going to get dropped into a Pokemon battle, it looks like. Oh, we're going to do a tag battle? I am down for that. I should go ahead and mention, guys, that this is going to be a Let's Play on my channel once the game comes out. Ooh, we get to go right into the level two guys here. Let me go back to uh, this screen here so you can actually see the bottom. Uh, let's see. We go with Marshdown Fire... Uh, <laughs> I almost called them Fire Type. Combuskin or Grovile. My favorite starter in Gen 3 and my favorite starter of all time is Trico. So I'm going to go with Grovile here. So let's choose them. But anyways, as I was saying, this will be a Let's Play on my channel once it comes out. I'm going to be picking up both the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. One will be on... Um, I'll be doing one of them on my stream and one of them on YouTube. Aha! I am very professional. I just fixed another line. Anyways, let's get to the game. Poochiana he's sending out. Does not look like there's much going on on the bottom screen at all here. He's going to send out our Grovile here. I am going to leave up this layout just because I think there might... Now that... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I, I thought there'd be something on the bottom. Let's go see if we have any Pokemon in reserve. Nope, just a Grovile at level 35. Let's go check his summary here. And we have Overgrow, which is powers of grass moves. And some basic stats here. Let's check our moves. We have Leaf Blade, Aerial Ace, Slam, and Agility. All right, so let's go get to this battle here. So a lot of the interface looks very similar to the X and Y one. A little bit different in places, but... For the most part, it's the same thing, so let's go and use our Leaf Blade! Ooh! One-shot that scrub! Nice! Well, that was easy. Is that gonna be their only Pokémon? Yep! Take that, Team Magma Grunt! Haha! -ha! I kinda wish we could've named ourselves instead of just being Orlando. But, ah oh well. If it matters... Oh, so they're saying it doesn't really matter that we've defeated them. They discovered the location of that mega-evolving Pokémon. Are we going to experience Mega Evolution in this game as well? Well, we already know that there will be Mega Evolution, but I wonder if we'll get to Mega Evolve something in the demo. I wonder if this is like a little unique side story only for the demo, or if this is something that will be in the game as well, but just a little bit different. I'm guessing this is just a snippet from the main game, but we will find out. I feel kind of bad if this is like only in the demo, because I don't think everyone got access to this. So if someone has to miss out on something, that kind of sucks. But that's why I'm putting out the entire video, so everyone can keep up the pace, just in case not everyone was able to play it. 
And if not, I'm sure you guys would like to see my experience with it anyways. So here they're just talking about a Pokemon capable of Mega Evolving. So he wants me to come with him? This guy sure asks me a lot of favors. Help me battle these guys! Help me fight off the evil dudes! Now come with me! Alright, man. I'll play along. So here we get our first glimpse of a Pokemon Generation 3 Pokemon Center! Or Generation 6, Generation 3 Remake is what I mean to say. Got a little bit of text going on on the bottom here. Let me go to this screen. So I think they're talking about spotting a legendary Pokemon. The Mirage Detection Unit begins airing this fall. Hmm. Aha! Pokemon! Oh, I can actually move around. So there's just a buzz now going on at the bottom. I thought that was part of a cutscene. So no, we can actually explore here, guys. So I'll leave it on this screen for a little bit, just in case you guys wanted to read that. Uh... So, Big Brother is his manager. I'm guessing we can't go inside the shop here. <laughs> this is kind of the confusion when you have a sibling being your boss. Alright, let's go check inside the sign. Oh, or inside the door, not the sign. I am mixing up words so bad today, but it's fine. Now, I will be playing this kind of slowly, guys, because I do plan to check every little nook and cranny. I am a huge Pokemaniac, so I just plan to explore all of this. And it's going to be a long-winded video. Parts of it might be a little bit slow-paced, but that's just what you're checking in for for this video. So there's nothing really down on this beach, but we do notice that it is covered in water, so... Uh, I think it was like that in the previous game as well. Probably nothing over here. Some really, pretty, pretty cool looking tree models and rock models and stuff, but that's about it. So let's get out of here. And I did not see any hidden items or anything. Okay, so let's just go over this way. I think I'm going to switch over to this screen now, just because I think... We've seen pretty much all there is to see on the bottom. Let's see. Something at Lily Cove with Wilmer. What's over here? Another building. More locked buildings. I'm guessing the demo's gonna have basically everything except for the exact thing you're supposed to do, just totally blocked off. More locked doors. Hey, buddy, you looking at that rock? It's a, it's a white rock, it is, yeah. Oh, there we go. This rock has a special meaning to the people at the Space Center. Something about wishing upon a star. Maybe that's an asteroid or something like that. I can't do anything with those bushes. Yet another locked door, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think I saw the gym leaders down there. Let's go talk to them real quick. And I don't think there was anything else to do up here, but I will check. Like I said, guys, I am going to be very, very over thorough and check every nook and cranny. So anyone who has wanted to see this demo fully explored, this is the video that's going to do it. All right, just give me more of the same text here. Check the sign. Okay, so there's one last building. Oh, no really building to check here, but we get a nice view of that rocket. So now I think there is the gym leaders down this way, so we'll talk to them, and then we'll continue where the demo presumably actually wants us to go. So not back here. Let me guess, locked again? Ah, okay. Hey, buddy. The guy who lives in that house, Steven, is always giving me weird stuff. Um, don't eat the stones, kid. Are you Steven? You need to stop giving that guy... Or, okay, never mind. This is not Steven. Invisible obstacle in our way. Oh! Okay, this might be a minor spoiler, but I think that is blocked off by a Pokemon. By Kecleon. So this is Tate, the gym leader of Moss Deep City, as expected. And this is the actual gym, but I don't think we can go inside yet. And... Nope! Can't go in, of course. But there you go, guys. Anyways, let's go where the game actually intends for us to. So let's just stroll on back this way. I think it was to the left here. Yeah, this looks right. Wait, you're just staring at rocks. Why is everyone staring at rocks and obsessed with rocks in this town? Steven gives out strange stones, people staring at rocks. And here's the rocket, I guess. Suddenly, Team Rocket! Nothing we can do here. This is a very closed off demo, isn't it? Wait, what are we even supposed to do? Is that it? I'm sure there's supposed to be something here. Game? Well, I am apparently so bad at directions that I get lost in a Pokemon game. I'm sure the guy over by the Space Center said where I'm actually supposed to go, but I didn't read it as carefully as I apparently should have, so I will be right back. Real quick before we continue going, guys, there's a couple of things I want to point out. First off, you might have noticed this already, but we don't have eight directional walking in this game. We actually have a fully rotational movement, so a little bit different. It's kind of similar to when we have the skates on, but 
Not really. Also, if we walk really slowly, you'll see that our guy will actually tiptoe. And we have different speeds we could do with that, depending on how hard I press the button. There's a basic walk, there's like a fast tiptoe, and a slow tiptoe. So, lots of different movement options. You can also just kind of pause, which is kind of funny looking. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on. Just a couple more things I want to show you guys real quick. At the bottom, there's actually two buttons. One, if we hit the little green button, it will bring up our Pokemon menu. And of course, we have all of the basic options. We've already looked at the summary for that, so I won't really show that off any more than I already have. There's a second button here, however, which is... Looks kind of like a Pokedex, almost. And... Oh, it's just my item bag. So there you go. We have a Hyper Potion, three of those, as well as three Full Heals. Huh. So I've gone ahead and explored basically everywhere, as you guys saw. I think now we just have to talk to Steven here. So we are ready to go. Let's have an adventure! I, don't, I really don't think there's anything else to do here. I felt like I was pretty thorough. Hopefully you guys were satisfied with the amount of thoroughness, I guess, I did there. Ah, uh, English, I don't know. We get to fly again, and once again we don't get to control it. Darn it, game. Hmm, so we actually have a patch of grass here. I guess that buzz nap just keeps going forever. I will just keep it on, just so you guys can read it, just in case you're curious. So, Pokemon... Are the Team Magma and Team Aqua have beat us here? Sure, I can have a look around here. Let's go take a peek. Word of warning, if you step into the tall grass, Pokemon may attack you. That's as we would expect. So nothing really up here. Let's check and see what kind of Pokemon we can find here. Uh, I'll deal with Team Magma in a second. Let's see what we can find. Our first battle ever in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is a Linoon. We have a rock background here. I guess... I don't know if this technically counts as one game or the other. I'm not sure if it's based off of Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, or if it's just kind of both mashed into one, but... I'm sure it's not going to matter too much. So we'll take down that line in. We'll do one more random encounter just to see if there's anything different, and then we'll just go and fight Team Magma there. That was pretty quick, actually. And we're up against... Another Linoon! Who would have guessed? I wonder if you can grind up to, like, level 37 and get a Sceptile here. Or level 36. I have level 35 already, so I'm guessing they intend for you to get to a Sceptile. So that'll probably happen at some point. Wow, that one I did not quite kill, but he's gonna go with a Covet. And he got a critical hit on me. Let's try out Aerial Ace and see how that animates. I'm pretty sure it's the same as in X and Y, though. So that is down. And not quite a level up, but maybe we'll get that from the Team Magma battle up here. So let's go check it out. Ridiculous, no one warned me about this, to think that Team Aqua would also show up looking for that mega evolving Pokemon. And that girl just now, why is a strong trainer like her here? Maybe they're talking about May, actually. They probably are. So they've got their admin, Tabitha. Hmm. Hey, buddies. I'm just gonna casually wreck you here, I hope you don't mind. Probably not the best choice of choosing Grovile, considering they are Team Magma. But the first battle, they just had a Poochiana, so hopefully they won't have a Fire-type suddenly here. They very well could, though. So he's just gonna have one Pokémon here, and it's a Zubat, really? Alright, man. I guess the game's taking it easy on us, and he's level 30, so this should be easy enough. I'm just gonna go with the Leaf Blade. I can't recall if Grass is bad against him because he's poisoned, but... Yeah, that's, it is. So I think I'll actually go with a Slam next turn. I got hit pretty hard by that Linoon, but I do have those three Hyper Potions, so if I need to use those, I can. And of course, Slam with its mediocre accuracy didn't work so well. He's gonna go with the mean look, which means I can no longer escape from a trainer battle, wow! Here we go, actually get that Slam for once, and it's down, nice. Good job, Grovile, I think we're gonna evolve here. Level 36. So Team Magma Grunt is defeated. And, here we go. Grovile is evolving! So we get to see if they change the evolving animation at all. I think that is slightly different than X and Y. I can't recall exactly, though. Hooray! We have six balls on our back. Yes, yeah, Sceptile is one of my favorite Pokemon. I love this guy. I think I like Trico more than Sceptile, but... I like them all. I like, I like the whole chain of Pokemon here. So, Alright, the first one is down. Are we going to fight the second one now? I guess she's going to be the strong one of the two. Of course, the first guy had a Zubat. Let's see what she has. It's going to be Mega Zubat. Oh, it's just a Numel. Numel? 
I never knew how to pronounce that one. He's just looking like a derp, though. So, of course, he is a fire type this time around, but we did evolve, so that should help us survive a little bit better. I forget if he's part rock. If he is, then Leaf Blade might be the way to go. Let me just go with an aerial ace and see how it does. And it did all right, so it's not a rock type, I don't think. He might be part rock when he evolves, but... I don't know, man. A lot of these Pokemon, for some reason, I just can't remember their types exactly. Anyways, I know he's at least part fire, so he's dead now. And you are defeated. So, with these guys out of the way, I guess we can go inside this cave here. And I guess the surprise that I'm not part of Team Aqua... Yeah, I'm not here to actually steal that Pokemon from you guys. Or from anyone, I'm just here to come whoop some butt. I mean, I don't really care if it's a Mega Evolving Pokemon. I just want to see what Pokemon it is at all. Oh, yo, it is May. Hey, girl. They changed her outfit quite a lot, it looks like. Whoa, she called them a jerk. So they are going to go for a two-on-one battle, or I could step in and help them out. Why did those guys not do two-on-one for me? I mean, I was up against two guys, and they just did one after the other instead of me fighting Zubat and a... Nimble at the same time. I gotta start a flame war in the comments. Do you guys prefer Team Magma or Team Aqua? Personally, I prefer Team Magma, but maybe I'm biased because I just like Ruby better. I mean, Team Aqua is kind of cool because they got that whole pirate thing going on. I think both teams are pretty awesome, but I think I prefer Team Magma, personally. It was kind of cool when Generation 3 came out because this was the first game that had a different enemy team. And there were two of them. I mean, Generation 1 and 2 both had Team Rocket as the bad guys. So it was a little bit strange to have something different from those from Team Rocket as the bad guy. So we got a Team Aqua Grunt here. I gotta say, even though I've played through all of the generations, I don't really know that much about Team Galactic or Team Plasma, I think, from Gen 5. I do know Team Flare from Gen 6 pretty well, and of course Team Rocket and Team Magma and Team Aqua, but... For some reason, I don't remember that much about Gen 4 and 5, even though I have played them. And once again, just one Pokemon. I'm thinking they're making this demo overly easy on purpose. Hopefully the game is not quite this easy itself. I mean, they can't ex exactly expect you to just pick up a demo and, you know, be good at the game immediately, so they kind of have to treat the demo as a bit of a tutorial. If they just, like, threw you in and had it, like, a leap forward, Pokemon or something, or Elite Four level challenges and a demo, it would probably turn a lot of viewer players off from the game, so I can see why they would make it easy. But this time they do have a Carvana. I'm just going to keep using Leaf Blade. So he is a water type. This should wreck him. And he got his rough skin. I guess Leaf Blade counts as a physical contact move. I thought it wouldn't because I thought it had some range to it, but I guess not. So both of them are defeated. We have some more grass in here. I wonder if we'll find something other than Linoon in this place. Oh no, they're going to put me in their notebook of troublesome people. And they're just chilling back there talking, but I guess while the bad guys are having a little, little chat, we'll chat ourselves here. Oh, and she's going to heal us up. Nice. What is with the face? I just realized this. The face on the person down on the buzz nav, a little bit, they look like they're shocked at something or like they haven't slept in like three days. So I think we're probably going to team up with May here. Or who knows what her name's going to be. My name is Orlando, so her name could be anything. Might even be like April or something. Cross my heart, yes. And she's just going to leave me. And suddenly, random Pokemon. So I guess we're going to have to deal with Team Magma and Team Aqua on our own. Oh, we got a Loud Red here. That is the evolved form of a Wizmer. And I don't think I have any Pokeballs, so I'm just going to have to kill it. But thankfully, we got that heal from her. Leaf Blade will probably take it out. And it does. Nice. Not a huge fan of Loud Red or Wizmer for that matter, but I do think Explod is pretty cool. Oh, boy. We got some leader types here. I tried to sneak around to the left, but couldn't quite. Are these the leaders of Team Aqua and Team Magma? They might just be, you know, high-ranking members, but not necessarily the leaders. Dang, look at his face. He is upset right now. So his name is, or her name, I don't know, Tabitha. 
I don't know this guy's name. Man. I don't even need to stop them. They're just gonna stop each other, right? I gotta say, Team Aqua kinda has an unfair advantage over Team Magma. Just due to their type advantage. He just called me a hoe! Wow, how dare you! I'm not here to get in your way. I'm just... I'm just here for the candy. They're really gonna st... The two big crime organizations of this... Of this land are gonna stop a truce they have, or they're gonna enact a truce just to come together to defeat a 10-year-old. Or however, however old the character is in this game. I think you guys might be overdoing it just a little bit. Of course, even with them together, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'd like it if May came back to help me out here. Oh! Never mind, Steven can help. Hey, no problem, Steven. As long as you help me take down these scrubs, we're good. Oh, they are some of the bosses, so maybe it's like a multi-boss type of team. It's not just like a one leader. All right, let's battle together. He's gonna teach. So he forgot agility and learned Frenzy Plant. Is that a new move? I've never heard of that before. Oh, are we gonna go Mega Sceptile up in here? We just got the Mega Bracelet. If we go Mega Sceptile, I will be so excited. All right, it has a keystone here. And it's gonna give me a Sceptile it gave me a Sceptile to hold. What? Steven gave your Sceptile a Sceptile to What the crud is that? That... <laughs> that is the worst item name I've ever seen. I really hope that that is not what they call Mega Stones in Generation 3 remakes. I... Okay, game. Enough talking, guys. I just want to beat you. And the battle starts. I don't know if I can give him the Sceptile to hold during the battle here. Wow, that guy is a lot more buff than he looked. So they're going to send out a Camerupt and a Sharpedo. Two Pokemon we've already seen, but just their evolved forms. So the evolved form of Numo and the evolved form of Carvana there. So Steven's going to be sending out a Metagross. Looks like a shiny Metagross. Dang! Steven's got all the rare stuff. Let's go over to my Pokemon here and... It looks like he's already holding something, so I might be able to Mega Evolve here. Yes, Mega Evolution! Let's go! So we'll go Mega Evolve into a Frenzy Plant, and we'll use that on Sharpedo. I gotta go full screen for this one, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that! We now have a Christmas tree on our tail! And we now have ten balls instead of just six. So that is, oops, wrong screen. That is awesome. Oh, crud, he's Mega Evolving as well. So level 45 Metagross with Mega Evolution. I think that Team Aqua and Team Magma are kind of screwed here. Yeah, your level 32 is not going to survive this, crud. Sorry, dude. If I get another turn, I will go look at my stats for you guys. I'm not sure if I will get that chance, though. He's going to go with Giga Impact, and... That is going to destroy him, so I won't get a chance to look at my Mega Evolve stats. I'm not even sure if the stats change in the stat screen when you're Mega Evolved anyways. Oh, maybe we'll get to see it here. Let's take a look at the stats. No, it just says plus. Well, here's my stats. I don't know if they were already like that before Mega Evolving, so... Uh, I, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not really sure what gets boosted when you go Mega with Sceptile, but hopefully we'll figure that out at some point. Ah, yeah, how could this be for an admin like me to lose to some child and a silver-haired pretty boy? Well, we kind of had Mega Evolutions. It's kind of a big deal, right? Of course, they'll be back for revenge. I never understood this, though. Whenever there's a game where there's, like, an evil villain, two things often happen. One is you're about to defeat them, but you let them go. The other thing is they're about to defeat you, and they let you go. Why don't they just finish things? Why did we not stop them or call Officer Jenny to get them arrested or something? And speaking of Officer Jenny, I've been watching a lot of the anime recently, and whenever Butch and Cassidy from Team Rocket pop up, they always get arrested. Why do Jesse and James never get arrested? I don't understand it, but anyways. They're just having a chat about Mega Evolution here. Ooh, he's saying one day he might be able to entrust the Metagross to me, so... Maybe we will get that during the game. 
Uh, Steven, the entrance is the other way. Okay, he's just gonna walk down to the cave. That's fine. Oh, right. He has his little, uh... I was gonna make a weed joke, but it's probably inappropriate, so forget I said that. I guess we'll just follow him down here. I kind of got stuck for a second. Ooh, look at that camera angle. That is very dramatic. And I think inside here is where Steven is. Yep, hey, buddy. There you are. Oh, the Mega Evolving Pokemon is in that tall grass. There's one patch of grass deep inside a cave. And he can just tell there's a Mega Evolving Pokemon it there. So here we got some Pokeballs. I guess we're going to go catch it. Here we go, guys. And inside we have... Glalie. All right. Let's go, Sceptile. I'm going to try not to kill this guy. He is level 40, though. You know, let's just try straight up throwing the Pokeball at it. It probably won't work out, but I'll do my best to hold down B as hard as I can. Holding down B? Come on, game. Work. One, two, three. All right, we got it. I'm guessing the game is pre-programmed, or the demo is pre-programmed to let you catch it every time, so there we go. And... They said it's a Mega Evolving Pokemon, so I'm guessing that it will Mega Evolve uh, in a bit. Let's go ahead and give it a name. Uh, I'm not very creative with names here. Oh, actually, that's better. I like this name better. There we go. I can't enter the... Gosh dang it, why is Poop offensive to this game? Okay, I have to go with Ice Pop, guys, because Poop is censored, apparently. The Pokemon seems to have accepted you after your performance in battle. Yes, my performance of going in and throwing a Pokeball. So we can go get into a battle, and then I can trek check out the Mega Glalie. That seems nifty. Does the game let us keep playing here? Oh, we're going to go back on Latias. I guess we're not going to get into any more encounters here. Yeah, back to Moss Deep City we go. Let's go full screen flying action. Game, can I control it this time? Don't tease me. Don't make me buy the full retail game just to control this. Oh, I'm guessing that's just like the Fly HM animation and not actually the soaring above the land kind of thing. So he's just saying thank you. Many Pokemon in the hurried Hoenn region capable of mega evolution, including the one we just recently met. There's a form of evolution that might even exceed mega evolution. Yes, primal reversion. Well, we already know about that. Of course, Groudon and Kyogre are going to have Primal Reversion. I've got a strange feeling that Pokemon throughout the next releases is just going to get ridiculous. They're like, Mega Evolution! Primal Reversion even more intense than Mega Evolution! And they're probably just going to have tons of stuff that's just ridiculous. It's, it's basically going to turn into Digimon. But that's okay. I mean, they got to go somewhere, right? I think the future of Pokemon is going to be introducing less new Pokemon and introducing more new types of evolutions for old Pokemon. We kind of saw that already with X and Y only having like 70 new Pokemon. And here's a little glimpse, I guess, to the full game here. Alright. All those Megas. Oh, of course, Secret Base is the most important thing. Dressing up your Pikachus. We've got Rayquaza. And I think that's going to be it, isn't it? And let's see. Go back to this screen real quick. More adventures are waiting for you in the full game. Transfer the Glalie you caught to, the, to your copy of the full game. So... My adventures in the special demo version aren't over yet. You can set out for another round of fun. So I guess there's still more to go. Wow. So we got a Glalie. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. As I said, oh, I'm going to do the whole thing in one video. So you've returned. This is our second such meeting, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, yes. Before I forget, I've set up with a few more Pokemon so you can enjoy our little explorations even more. I hope you'll enjoy your time with them, learning about each in turn. If you feel like going on a bit of an adventure with me, say the word, I would be delighted to take you along. Alright, so let me go look at my Pokemon menu and see if there is anything else in there. Alright, so we actually get Blaziken, Swampert, Sceptile, and of course Ice Pop, all of which seem to have a hold item. Uh, let me actually go over to here. So they all seem to have hold items here, so I'm guessing we can actually Mega Evolve with all of them. I will go and actually look at their stats for you guys. And we have Waterfall, Mud Bomb, Rock Slide, and Hydro Cannon. Uh, let's see, we can actually look at our stats here for the for the uh, contest, it looks like. And just a little bit of their characteristics. Let's see, how do we switch to the next Pokemon here? Ah, uh, there we go. So there's Blaziken's moves, their stats and everything. Oh gosh, I have my 
3DS time set a little bit wrong, so if you see it says year 2051, uh, whoops, I will have to fix that. Here's, of course, my Sceptile. And finally, here's Ice Pop. So there's their moves and their everything. They found them in a faraway place. All right. So let's go see what adventures we can go on now. I guess I'll take a quick peek around town and see if there's anything else I can do here, guys. But if not, I'll just edit this out. All right, guys, so I took a peek around. All the doors seem to be locked. Everything is kind of the same as before. So let's just talk to Steven and set off on our new adventure. Let's see, I can check rewards, have an adventure, or send a full game. I can't do the send a full game yet, so let's check the rewards here. So perhaps I ought to give you a bit of advice about the rewards you can send to your full game. Uh, one is just Glalie, of course. And that's about it. So I'm guessing there will be more rewards, otherwise they wouldn't have a menu for that specifically. And we can also hold on for a second. Quit playing. Let's just have an adventure, let's go. So some Pokemon having some special training on a certain island. So they're gonna ask them to take me on on a Pokemon battle. Let's get right to it. This time we're flying on Latios instead. Going off to who knows where. And I guess I'll try to show off the Mega Swampert, Mega Blaziken, and Mega Glalie for you guys. Alright, so it looks like there is indeed a line of trainers here that is telling us if they get in our vision, then we will battle them. Looks like there's only three trainers, so probably just enough to show off these three Megas for you guys. Let's get right into it. Probably gonna find a beauty or whatever she is. Oh, a Roma Lady, right. Oh, she has Tropius, one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, he looks so cool in this game. He's got the banana beard, and it looks like he's flying too. I really hope we get a Mega Tropius at some point, but I won't get my hopes up. I just said I hope, and then I said I won't get my hopes up. And I forgot to Mega Evolve, please don't kill him. Ah, crud. Well, I'll get into a random encounter to show that off at least. I don't know why I didn't Mega Evolve there. Okay, so let's go and Get into a random encounter, and then we'll check out that Mega. And we are up against... Let me guess, Linoon. No, we're actually up against the Metatite. Cool. So, I'm sorry, Metatite, but you are about to get absolutely demolished. So, I'm going to go Mega Evolve into a Frost Breath, I think. Awesome. So, I guess that is what Mega Glalie looks like. And that Frost Breath is going to just wreck them. Wasn't even very effective, I don't think. Oh, maybe it was. I guess that was a critical hit sound I got. But that is destroyed. So now we have two more trainers here. Let me actually swap out so that I have my Swampert up in front. I guess we'll do them first. We'll have the Mega Evolve. Then, of course, we'll do Blaziken. Oh, or we'll get into a random encounter here. This time we are up against another Metatite, so I'm guessing it's going to be all Metatites in this area. So I'm not going to waste my Mega Evolution on this guy, I think I'm just going to run away. And we'll go and fight those trainers. Hey buddy, fight me! These ladies are just obsessed with flowers, aren't they? So once again, one Pokémon, and wow, she also has Tropius, I'm guessing all three of them have Tropius. This demo is kind of going out of its way to show us as little as possible here. But that's fine. So let's go ahead and Mega Evolve. And I think Tropius is part Rock, so I guess they'll are part uh, Flying, so Rock will be good against them. So I will go with a Rock Slide. I think Mega Blaziken will have a better time against these guys if it is another Tropius on the third trainer. Since they are Fire type, of course. Alright, look at that crud. I'm guessing just based on their looks, Mega Swampert probably gets a huge boost to their attack stats. There we go. So two trainers down, just one left here. And I'm going to swap out my uh, Blaziken up to the front. There we are. So the last trainer... Good times are filled with good aromas. Yeah, not any more creepy than it was before. Or not any less creepy, even. Oh, this time she's going to have a Shroomish. Still a grass type, though. I cannot imagine a Shroomish is going to be smelling too good, though. Not sure why an aroma lady is digging that one. Why do I have a feeling that the chat or all the comments are just going to be full of 
the shroomish face now. Oh well, let's just go with Blast Burn. If you actually make it this far in the video, post the shroomish face in the comments. I doubt basically anyone's gonna make it this far because I think this is 40 minutes in at this point. But here we go. Gonna get that blaze or blast burn. And that thing is dead. That was obvious that that was gonna die there. So I guess that's all we can do here. I'm hoping that they'll let me take over one of the starting Pokemon, but I highly doubt that'll happen. So congratulations, you've defeated all the trainers. And for that, let's see, what is he gonna tell us? About time to head back? Can I get a second reward? More flying. Wait, wait, wait. Full screen flying, yeah! I gotta say, I love the sound of the music in Generation 6 games. So he's saying this is goodbye for now, so... Is that it for this section of the demo? Is that it for the demo entirely? I don't know. Oh, it's giving us another little glimpse of this thing, so... I guess every time we finish the section of the demo, it will just show us this again. I guess we'll go ahead and watch it and see if they give us a different reward here. I also saw just a brief clip there. There was uh, Orlando and May were kind of dressed up. Uh, they're just saying once again I can transfer the Glalie I caught, so I guess no new reward there. So I've cleared it twice. As a re result, you'll find some new faces in Moss Deep City. Okay, so I guess there is a reason to go back. So let's do it. So here we go, guys. We're back in this town here. I'm, I'm going to go back to this screen. And this is our third meeting. So he's saying once again he can we can talk to him to go on an adventure. I'm not going to check our rewards because I don't think there is anything quite yet. But they did say there will be some new faces in Moss Deep. And it looks like that's very apparent because there's characters here. Hmm. Is this Team Aqua trying to get some people to leave us here? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. He's saying he's going to swim back to Kalos on his own. So they're all talking about being scuba divers and diving for pearls and all that kind of thing. So I'm guessing that the Dive HM will be back in the game, as it was in the uh, original Generation 3 games. And a while back, I kind of got cut off, but... I was talking about, during that little uh, preview section, there was a little clip of Orlando and May dressed up, so I'm guessing that we will get to change their costumes, at least for the contests. But I heard that character customization, as there was in Generation 6, or as in X and Y with the, you know, changing your clothes and buying stuff, I think that's gone, so... Not exactly sure how that's all gonna pan out. <coughs> oh, hello, hello, I'm Professor Cosmo's assistant. Something came up and the professor had to return to his lab in Felibor Town. He asked me to pass on his regards, Orlando. All right, so there's just a little bit of different dialogue. So I just went and talked to every single person, and if there was any changed dialogue, I showed it. I think there was just the one NPC that had different dialogue. The rest was all the same, and the people at the bottom left were the only new people in the entire area. So that's it for now, but let's go on another adventure. So let's see what adventure number three has for us. The first one was, of course, defeating Team Magma and Team Aqua, getting ourselves a Glalie and getting ourselves a Mega Sceptile. The second one, he gave us Swampert and Blaziken, and then we got to fight three trainers, two with Tropius and one with Shroomish. So that's just a little recap there. Now the third adventure here. Somewhere on this poor island, a, or somewhere on this island, a poor figure huddles lost and alone. I know you can handle this. So he says if he finds it first, he'll let us know. Looks like we have a few trainers to battle along the way. So we'll see what kind of Pokemon we can find in the grass, as well as what these trainers might have for us to fight. So I will be fighting all the trainers I can, guys. Just gonna have another Numo here. I'm not gonna cut anything out, because I'm sure that if you guys are watching the demo, it's more so because you want to see everything the demo has to offer. You're probably, like, itching, waiting for new stuff to come out, so... I will just, you know, be as thorough as I can and not cut anything out. But once I get to the actual full Let's Play, I'll probably be, uh, be cutting out repeat battles. If I just battle the same Pokemon over and over, or random encounters, I'll cut it out in the Let's Play, but... I don't really see a reason to here. So that guy was easy enough. And sorry if I'm skipping through their dialogue a little bit quickly. Hopefully, you guys either aren't too interested in their dialogue, or... Wait. That's it? Oh, crud! I wanted to do the, the battles there. So, whoops, I guess we won't actually get to see what the random encounters were for that area. I'm guessing it was just going to be one Pokemon over and over. And I'm not entirely certain if we still have those Pokeballs from before, if we could actually catch some of the random encounters. 
So those were questions unanswered. I did not expect that to go by so quickly here. So that's going to be it. I am just going to cut out the preview this third time, though, since it's going to be the same thing. Oh, we can just press start to skip it here. And once again, it's just saying Glalie will be in the full adventure. So we've uh, cleared it three times. As a result, you'll be able to send a set of Pokeballs to the Pokemon Link. So we get Pokeballs. Yay! We're going to start up a fourth time here. So you return. This is our first... Firth? Fourth such meeting, isn't it? I think I will give you these Pokeballs to celebrate our small reunion. So I've received gifts from Steven. The gifts you receive can be sent to a copy of the full game using Pokemon Link. You cannot use them in this special demo version. So once again he's saying there's a bit of a adventure there. Let me check my items bag to see what exactly we just got. Kind of hard to, to do this. You can't actually press start. You have to touch the screen there. So we have the same Pokemon. But he just gave us... Uh, it seems like nothing, so I guess you really can't even check it in the game. Let me go check the, uh, reward screen here and says, see if he'll tell us what it is. Let's see, Pokeball set. You can send a set of ten Pokeballs that I gave you earlier to your full game. So it's just ten basic Pokeballs, it sounds like. Let's go on the next adventure. I'll try to be more careful this guys, uh, this time, guys, and try not to rush through it, because we didn't get to see what was the random encounter for battle... Or for mission number three, so that kind of sucked. So I will try to be more careful here. I'm kind of getting tongue-tied a lot here. I, I, I have this issue a bit. I don't know if other people do, but once you talk for too long, kind of start to get a little bit tongue-tied. That's usually why I only record one gameplay video a day. So will you help me search this island for the shroomish he seeks? Where to find that shroomish? Who knows? So I guess we're just going to have to look around here. Looks like we have a trainer on that side, and on this side we have... Please don't find the Shroomish immediately! Uh, another trainer! Okay, so let's go battle these two trainers. It looks like there's going to be a Pokemon in the grass they're sticking out. But I want to battle both of these trainers on each side first. So we are up against an Ace Trainer. And as is the running theme here, every trainer in this game only has, or in this demo, only has one Pokemon. So we're up against an Absol. I am once again just using my Glalie, but I think I'm going to swap out and give some other Pokemon some more Showtime. I don't think that my Glalie's getting any experience to carry over to the full game. I think they are just going to be level 40 when I bring them over. And I kind of wonder, when we bring Glalie over to the full game, can we bring them over immediately? Or do we have to wait until a certain part in the game? Because if we can immediately bring over a level 40 that can Mega Evolve, might be a little bit crazy. Also, my experience actually did go up just now, so maybe you actually can gain experience. But I don't know if they, the experience will stick between the different adventures. So let me go over to this side. Hey. You can kind of see that they can, they can encounter you, or they can view you from an off angle. You don't have to be exactly head-on for them to see you in this game. So I think that's a little bit different from previous games. And a loud red, which we've seen before. So I guess this will be the last battle I do with Glalie, and then I'll move on to some other characters. So let's just go ahead and do another Frost Breath here. Pretty cool animation. I'm not sure exactly the properties of Frost Breath. Didn't quite kill him though, even though I think that was a critical. They're just going to use a Screech on me, but I'll just finish things off with a Headbutt, and we'll be good. So bada bap. I think I'm going to use some Blaziken. I've got a feeling a lot of you guys are huge fans of Blaziken. Seems to be overall the most popular starter from this generation, so... You know what, let me go ahead and swap them out to the front here. Let's go switch. There we go. Now let's go see what else is down here. Uh, looks like a ledge to jump over, and... I'm just going to tiptoe through the grass. Ah, there's the Shroomish! Shroo! So I found a Shroomish, and that's probably going to end the adventure, so once again, we don't get to see what the random encounter for this area is, but let's keep it real. Random encounter is not that exciting. We can't catch anything, so we can't bring it into the full game anyways. Thank you, Orlando. You've been a great help again today. So this is goodbye once again. So that was our fourth time playing through this little story here, or through this little adventure. And this time I'm going to skip through the intro. Once again, you can use Glalie. We've now cleared it four times. There may be new faces in Moss Deep City. See if you can spot someone. So, we have more people to check out here. I guess this demo just keeps on giving. I really thought the demo would be over in like 20 minutes, but they just keep giving you more and more to keep you interested, I guess. So let's go back in a fifth time. You returned. This is our fifth such meeting, isn't it? 
I do have another piece of advice. Did you know that you can only use Mega Evolution once in each battle you face? I suggest you think carefully about which Pokemon to Mega Evolve and when. If you feel like going on a bit of an adventure with me, say the word, I would be delighted to take you along. So let's look around once again for some new faces, and I'll tell you guys if there's any dialogue that has changed or any new people to talk to. Aha, looks like once again we have new characters in the bottom left here, so I'm guessing whenever there's new faces, down here is where they're going to be. So we have uh, Flannery here, which is one of the gym leaders. And we have a camera crew, it looks like. Oh, the camera guys! Yeah, one of my favorite sets of characters from Generation 3. Oh, I love these guys. Let's go ahead and talk to Flannery here. I'm uh, honored to serve as the gym leader of La... No, I mean, I'm Flannery, and I'm on the... I'm the one in charge of the Laveridge Gym. So I guess that was just a little peek at these characters, but that is about it. So let's go and talk to Steven and go for our fifth adventure. Hey, buddy. Yeah, let's head out on a fifth adventure. My, my, it seems someone has sent you a challenge. He appears to have recognized your skill as a trainer and now wishes to ask you for a battle. Let's see how this goes. I can't really skip this flying thing. I guess it is pretty cool, though. Hopefully you don't have to watch this entire thing every time you use the Fly HM in the actual game. Although it is pretty cool, it's just... It's one of those things that, after you've done it 5,000 times, you'll probably be like, eh... The gentleman who sent that challenge should be on this island somewhere. Okay, so he's going to truly put me to the test. He'll probably be just inside this cave here. I kind of have four Mega Evolve, uh, mega Evolvable Pokemon, and I put Ice Pop back in the front, so I'm going to switch Blaziken back to the front. All right, any random encounters in this cave? Looks like the battle will be right inside here. I'm going to run around just for a few steps just to see if there's anything random. And it looks like there isn't, so let's just go battle the guy. Hey, I've heard much of you, young trainer, including the way you are able to wield the power of Mega Evolution despite your youth. Ugh, I am too tongue-tied to read all this, guys. I'll let you read it yourself. I think it'll just be painful to listen to me try to stumble upon reading it. But we will get to battle them. And it is... Expert Timothy. And he actually has three Pokemon, so this is going to be our first real battle in this demo, I guess. It's going to send out a Hariyama, which is... Probably going to be much higher than the typical level 30 we've seen. 36. Hmm. So he's going to be a fighting type. I think I just want to go with a a Blast Burn here. He probably won't have that good of a uh, special defense stat. So we'll go with that. I don't think I want to make up all Blaziken here yet. Ooh, maybe I should have, though. He's going to go with a Whirlwind, which will swap me out. Hopefully he sends me over to pretty much anything. Actually, not Ice Pop, because I'm going to be an Ice type. Oops, I... Didn't mean to actually use that. So he'll be super effective on me, I think. He's going to use Vital Throw. Yep, that hurts a lot. So I'm going to actually swap here. I think I want to go with Sceptile. Because Glalie is just going to get completely destroyed by a Hariyama. I was just mashing A to get through the dialogue. That's why I accidentally used that Ice Fang back there. Wow, this Hariyama is crazy. I think I am going to go with a Mega Evolve into a Frenzy Plant. I don't know the power of Frenzy Plant, but I think this is going to be my best option, guys. Let's see if it kills him. I'm sure it will. I mean, come on, we are mega evolved right now. And I like the little boing sound effect, it's kind of funny. And got him, nice. Hopefully this was the right Pokemon to mega evolve, in before he sends out like a giant fire type. And he's going to send out a Swellow, actually, so now is when I want to use Glalie. Hopefully, I will get to go first, or at least get one attack in before I die. Because Ice will, of course, be very good against this Flying type. Although, I think Swampert also has Rock Slide, so I can use that if I need to. So let's just go with a Frost Breath here. I'm not sure what's better between Frost Breath and Ice Fang. I'm guessing that Ice Fang would be the chance to flinch, but less damage. So that'll be super effective, and take it down in one shot. Looks like we got a critical hit there as well. So their last Pokemon is coming out, and it is... an Absol. Let's see, that's going to be a Dark type. I forget if he's a Multi-type. Uh, You know what? Let's just go with Blaziken, I guess. I think Dark type is weak to fighting, but I could be wrong. I kind of don't know all my type matchups that well. That was a running theme throughout my Pokemon X playthrough, is I forgot a lot of the type matchups. So before I do the Let's Play of this, I will... I'll go through a rigorous study opportunity to bolster my knowledge, but for now, let's just go with this. 
And it is super effective, all right. I'm not sure if that's because of his dark type or if he has steel or something else that makes him weak to it, but I think it is from the dark type. And he's dead. So expert Timothy was no match for me. Not a huge surprise that that battle was relatively easy though, but I have defeated a true expert. And what do we get for that? Indeed, I was, in, I was victorious, so he's just going to take me back. He'll probably say, well, we're done again. I'll just cut this out. Thank you, Orlando. You've been a great help, of course. So this is goodbye for now. He says he's looking forward to our next meeting, so there might be a sixth adventure. I have no idea how long this demo is going to be, guys. But we're just going to gonna keep going. We're going to do all of it. Gosh dang. You've cleared the special demo version five times. As a result, you'll be able to send a set of heal balls to the Pokemon Link. Thanks for playing the special demo version. All right, this is our sixth, sixth time meeting. So now he has the heal balls, the Pokeballs, as well as the Mega Glalie is what we'll get. Is that all there is, or is there more adventures? Wow, there's a sixth adventure, guys. Let's just go for it. They did not say there'd be any new characters here, so here we go. I heard that someone has gotten lost on a particular island near here. Are they going to just give us repeats of the previous challenges? Somewhere on this island, a poor figure huddles lost and alone. I know you can handle this. Well, we've already seen this island before, and it's very small, so it's going to be one of these two. I guess we'll just talk to both of them. One will probably be a battle as... Yep, it definitely is. So it's going to be the same as, I think, the third adventure we did, where it was one battle and one random dude. We've already seen the random encounter for this area. We know it's a Metatite. So let's just defeat this Tropius, and then we'll talk to the lady. Uh, we'll just do Ice Fang. I think that'll be fine. Gosh dang, I have burps, man. What do you guys think is more gross between burps and farts? Personally, I don't care about either, but... I feel like, in general, people feel more, more grossed out by farts, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're smelly, I don't know. But why am I talking about this? Oh, there's two trainers, you can see the kids up in the top right. So we will battle these two trainers, probably just gonna be Tropius or Shroomish here, but... Yeah, just a Shroomish. But she'll be easy enough to take down. Ice Pop can wreck everything, man. Ice is probably my favorite type in Pokémon. It's pretty much Ice and Bug. Which, honestly, Ice isn't that very very good of a type. Isn't that very good, yes. That's, that's what I meant to say, yep. And Bug used to not be so good, but there's been a lot uh, better Bug Pokemon in recent generations. So here we go, we found the kid! So she was separated from her twin Mia. Was that the gym leader? That might have been the gym leader Liz. Liz and Mia? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know, Steven, we've been a good help. Yeah, and he's gonna send us off to the... Little, uh, little this thing again. I can't believe they intend to show you this preview like ten times. Like, do they expect you to watch it every time? I don't know. Hooray, we've cleared it six times. As a result, there may be a new face in Moss Deep City. So let's go and go back in for a seventh time and see what the new faces are. So you return. This is our seventh such meeting, indeed. So we can go on an adventure with him, but if we go to the bottom left, I'm sure there will be new characters here. And... No, it's just them again, so maybe the new characters actually show up in a different area. So I will go look for them, guys. Do they say anything different? Nope, they say the same stuff. So let me go look for the new characters, guys. Aha! We got a guy on a bike right here. Would you look at this? Look at my... the body of my noble steed. Rattle, 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 rattle. Oh my gosh. The name's everywhere. I do hope I get to ride one of those bikes as well someday. And I'll keep looking for more characters. Oh, we got a couple of characters down here. Hey, buddy! I heard that there's an island near this city where you can gather shoal salt. Hmm. You really want some salt. He wants the ultimate... Yeah, the ramen bowl. Heck yeah! That sounds delicious. Well, now I want ramen. Thanks, guys. And those were all of the new faces I could find around town, guys. So let's go talk to Steven and go for another adventure. When will it end? I have no idea. I happen to know of some Pokemon trainers. Okay, so we're going to go to another island. If it's the same island, then I'll just know that these adventures are repeating, of course. And it looks like we are actually in a different area, so this mission here kind of follows the same archetype of having trainers looking for battle, but it is in a different area, so it is technically a different adventure, which means to 100% this demo, which I plan to do, we got to go do this. Oh, and we actually get to see a different Pokemon for once, a Slackoth. And, of course, Glalie's been getting way too much screen time, pretty much just because every time we complete a section of the demo, it just puts them back up to the front here. But that's okay. We'll see plenty of the starters in the actual Let's Play, and I've tried to show them off a little bit here and there anyways, so hopefully you guys are not too disappointed by seeing 
an overabundance of Glalie. Personally, I think Glalie is a pretty cool Pokemon. And it looks like another trainer right here. Hey, buddy. Yes, the scent of adventure. Let me guess, he's going to be a... Oh, actually, we don't fight him. All right. I thought he was going to be an Aroma Boy or something like that. He has a lot of money. I think these guys, the Rich Boys, I think they actually use full restores if you get them down low enough on HP without killing them. I think they will use that, which is kind of crazy, but... Oh, well. Man, I am... I never really stopped to listen to it, but I am digging the battle music in this version. One thing I noticed, though, compared to the original games, there's been a severe lack of trumpets. I'm just saying. If the trumpets come back at some point, I will be a very happy person. And I think this is going to be the last trainer right here. Hmm. For some reason, he didn't battle me when he first saw me. I, I guess some of them you have to talk to? Rich boy Garrett. How? I don't know. Why does a rich person have Linoon? That's like one of the most basic Pokemon. Can't you, like, go to the casino or something and buy a good Pokemon? Buy yourself a... At least get, like, a Vulpix or an Abra or something. Maybe a Dratini? Yeah, Dratini seems like a rich person Pokemon. Yeah, okay. So, Mr. Garrett, you are defeated. And I've defeated all the trainers! Hooray! Our seventh adventure is completed! I'm guessing there's going to be ten adventures in total. That would make a lot of sense if it ended at ten. So that's it for that. I guess we'll go back in for an eighth time and see what we get. So if we're clearing it seven times, we may see new faces in Moss Deep City. So I'll go look for those guys as we get back into things here. Okay, so we have these guys back here again. But I think they're going to say the same things, aren't they? Yeah, these guys say the same stuff. So they are new, but not really new. Ah, here's a new face up on this little platform here. What up, buddy? Hey, talk to me. I'm giddy, I sure want to take a rocket into space, but even if I can't reach space, I'd love to fly into the sky at least. I'd sure like to see this world from above. Yeah, that'd be cool. I wonder if the game will let us do that. Wink! Although we kind of already have done that. And we have a scientist right here, I think that's the only other new character in town. Hello young lad, have you seen any shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon, but it looks like they may not live in these parts unfortunately. I guess I should go back to Rusboro. Okay, Mr. Scientist. Well, let's go on yet another adventure, this time our eighth adventure. I'm setting out to search for a Pokemon said to inhabit a certain island nearby. Ooh, this sounds a little bit different than before. Maybe we'll catch us a new Pokemon. Well, we've seen this part here. Ooh, for the Skitty he seeks. I wonder if we get to keep a Skitty. Now oh, there's a couple trainers here. Oh, and there's a Skitty. Skrrr. And we found a Skitty. That was easy enough. Is that it? That's the eighth adventure. Now, we already had to do that for a Shroomish, so I'm guessing we won't actually get to keep it. And it says for the 8th completion, there might be a new face once again in Moss Deep City. And these guys change back to the camera crew. Uh, the bike guy's right back here. Oh, there's a new guy right here, though. I'm the Fossil Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. From what I've heard, it seems like they're doing research at Devon about how to revive fossils. And I heard something about the prison president's son may be living in this town. Or maybe not. Looks like some new characters here as well. What up, guys? Oh, these are the gym leaders, aren't they? These are the first and second gym leaders. Probably you are tough as a rock. I think that's Roxanne, and... Hmm, it's harder than I thought I'd be... It'd be to get my body fat percentage any lower. I need some way to keep on training my whole body. Yeah, maybe some squats, or... Probably do you even lift, bro. And a new character up here as well. Hey! How you doing? That's it, that was my last performance dressing up as a Hoenn Ranger. I'm planning to dedicate the rest of my life to contest spectaculars, together with my beloved Pokémon. Okay, and that appears to be all that is new, so let's go on our ninth adventure. Someone has gotten lost on a particular island. I don't know if this goes on infinitely, if we can just re keep repeating things forever, or if there's eventually no new stuff. If at a certain point we see the same mission we've already done, like the exact same archetype, the exact same map and everything, if it repeats in that exact same way, that is the point I will stop. Unless the game straight up gives you a, you're done, kind of point. We do have to find a, a kid somewhere, but this is a different map, so we've, we've done this type of mission, but it was in a different area. And it looks like the kid's at the top left there, so we just have to beat this trainer, and we'll get them. So it's just going to be another rich boy, probably going to have yet another... Oh, never mind, he's going to have a slack off. That was Antoine, I think that was the same, same guy that had the slack off before. I could be wrong on that. But last time one Prospect took it down, 
And it should be the same this time as well. Get wrecked, buddy! Kind of helps that I get criticals pretty often, as well as the fact that he is much lower level than I am. And I don't think Slackoth is a particularly, uh, particularly strong Pokemon to begin with. Okay, so we got him defeated, and the kid's back here, so we'll save them. Heck yeah, I came to find you. So she got separated from her twin, but we're good now. So let's head back. Hooray! We did another adventure! And for clearing it nine times, we'll be able to send a set of heart scales to the Pokemon Link. So here we are back for our tenth adventure. This time we have yet another challenger, similar to the, the old man that we had to fight, Expert Timothy. So I think this is going to be right in here. Uh, they said it would be someone else, but it looks like it's the same person. Let me actually start off by sending out... Uh, let's start off with Swampert. We've not gotten a lot of screen time for Swampert, so we're going to start with them. Let's see who this is. Hmm. Is this just going to be... Oh, I defeated his elder brother, Timothy. Gotcha. So this is Theodore, the, the younger brother. But he says he's not as naive. We will see. Expert Theodore! This time he has four Pokemon. I wonder if we'll have to go through this long enough that there's eventually an expert with six Pokemon. That might be a thing. We will see. So he is going to just chill there, and he's going to start off with a Blaziken, which is fantastic for me. I'm just going to go right into a Hydro Pump, going for a simple bulk up. Of course, that will raise his attack and his defense, but it's not going to raise his special defense. So this Hydro Pump is probably going to destroy him here. And it does, even though he's level 40, much higher than mine are. Well, I guess that's equal with my Glalie, but the rest of his guys are higher. However, we have the type advantage in a lot of cases, so very glad I started with, with Swampert. I'm not sure if the game plans for you to start off with a certain Pokemon, and they always start off with whatever you're good against, or if they just happen to start with Blaziken and I got lucky, I don't know. But well, let's go ahead and blast Bird and take down this Sceptile. He's going to start with an Aerial Ace, which will hurt a lot, actually, since I am part fighting. And I actually missed there. That sucks. He's going to go for a second one. If that criticals, I'm dead. Now we're good. This time I actually hit him, though. Good job, Blaziken. That is kind of one downside to this uh, trio of starters, is that Blaziken's part fighting, while Sceptile gets a flying move, so he actually has a way to counter his weakness there. Okay, so Swampert is coming out, so I'm going to go with Sceptile of my own. I could also go with my own Swampert because they're part ground as well, but Sceptile is the way to go, honestly. Four time weak to grass. It's kind of the downside of being water ground. Yes, you get a resistance to electric, which is great, but you gain an even bigger weakness to grass. He's going to start off with Protect here, though, so he will guard against my Leaf Blade. As soon as I get through that, though, he is going to get destroyed. Not, not, uh, not even going to bother with using a Frenzy Plant here. One Leaf Blade should do it. And it does. So his last Pokemon, probably not going to be part of this trio here. It's instead going to be a Hariyama once again. So I'm going to stick with my Sceptile here. I think I'll go for a Mega Evolution and then go into an Aerial Ace, and that should hopefully weaken him quite a lot. So we'll go Mega Evolution into an Aerial Ace. I don't think you can skip this animation, and I don't think that there's any way in the menus to make it go faster, so... Similar to X and Y, it's just the thing we ought to deal with. But it does look pretty dang cool, though, at least. Excuse me. That did not do as much as I was hoping for. He's going to go with a Vital Throw, which did actually more than my Mega Sceptile's Aerial Ace did. That is fantastic. I honestly might want to just go with a... Uh, a... Plant Frenzy instead. Whoa, I am down to 2 HP. Okay, let's go with the Frenzy Plant instead, see if that can actually finish him off here. So that will get same type of attack bonus, probably a higher power, and also, uh, I think that Aerial Ace is a physical move, while well, this is a special. But anyways, Theodore is defeated! So take that, buddy. Did we get anything fancy for defeating yet another expert? Not just an expert, guys, he was a true expert. Hooray! So at this point, after going back ten times, he says, So you've returned, I've practically, practically lost count of the number of times we've met here. I think I will give you these heart scales to celebrate our small reunion. So I'm guessing after 10 times, he's just going to lose count. So I'm guessing this will go on infinitely, guys, and we'll probably just keep getting more heart scales. I'll go ahead and do this last adventure here, but I think that this is going to be the end of the demo, guys. Let's go ahead and set out on this last adventure, see if there's anything new. 
but I'm guessing that this is just gonna start looping around and repeat infinitely. And once again, we are back at this area. It looks like there's slightly different trainers. Instead of fighting the rich guys, we'll fight the aroma ladies, but it's the same map, it's trainers we have fought before. So the demo is kind of starting to loop, and I'm guessing it's gonna go on forever. So I think I am actually gonna end things here, guys. That will be it for the video. I will probably keep clearing through this, just to see what else you might happen to get. But I'll probably update that either in the video description or on my Twitter, so check out that in a couple of days, and maybe I'll update what I'll get for, you know, 15 completions, 20 completions, and so on. But anyways, guys, I hope that was thorough enough and complete enough of the demo for you guys to be satisfied, and that'll be it. So see you guys in the next video. Take care.